Awesome guys, Ifan back again with another video. And the topic of this video, this is going to be a shorter video. It's not going to be as long as some of the videos I've done uh, recently. But uh, the, the topic of this video is how to create uh, drop down lists uh, using data validation. But uh, you know, we have done a video uh, on this topic previously, but uh, this is going to be a more neater, cleaner way of doing it. Uh, it's a little more uh, uh, involved, but at the end, the result looks a whole lot better too. So uh, uh, let's get started. Now, the, what I've done is, uh, let's assume that in this cell here, let's, let's color it, okay? What we need to do is we need to have a drop down of the names of cities. So you can select the name of the city that you're working with. And I've gone ahead and uh, put in five names here, okay? Now, uh, Karachi, Lahore, Islamabad, Cairo, and London. So I've got these uh, five names entered. Now. What I would like to do is have uh, the, you know, the, this uh, cell here uh, have a, a drop down list that allows me to pick names from this list here. Okay, so the, the old way that we did it, and we have done it previously, we will go into data, data validation, and click on list and just give it a list like this okay and you put it down and that's what you get okay now problem supposing that instead of this just five what you need to uh, by the way i've got my list of the, some cities written down here so if, if you're wondering why i'm you know glancing to my right so right now i've only got five cities so let's go in and put in some more cities New York, um, Los Angeles, and St. Louis. Okay, so now what we have is we have uh, eight cities. Now go back to the question sheet again. And look at, see, the problem is those new uh, names did not get added. So, what do you do? Instead of highlighting uh, like this, what you do is you highlight the column, right? So we go to data validation, and where it says A2 to A6, we just put it uh, dollar A, dollar A. Okay, what that does is it gives you a complete list. Okay, now if you see the last name was St. Louis, okay, which is this guy here. Now let's add one more. Oops, sorry, Kansas City. And we go back here. And Kansas City straight up. But like I said, uh, this is not a very clean way of doing it for a number of reasons. Why? Uh, first off, uh, the name of the city is not sorted. So if you're looking for a particular city, it's a little difficult to find if, if the list is very long, number one. Number two, uh, this heading, name of city, is also being given as an option. And that certainly should not be the case. So let's see how we can improve this. What we're going to do is uh, we are going to use pivot tables. Uh, to do the sorting for us automatically and then we'll use the pivot table to uh, populate the list of name uh, list of cities okay so the first thing i'm going to do is uh, let's see so pivot table and i'll i'll show you why i'm going to do it slightly differently here and i'll, I'll show you the old way of, the traditional way of doing pivot tables and then I'll show you a slightly different which we have already covered in a previous video called uh, dynamic uh, pivot tables, I believe. So let's just do that here. Names of cities. Okay. And I'm going to get go to design. Get rid get rid of the grand tools and sub tools. Okay. Now, and I'll have it updated for us automatically. And 
instead of we will go back here let's just copy this i'll just make this a different color now this was uh, this from column a Oops, not list b list Oops, sorry. I just can't seem to type today. Okay. And this would be list form. Pivotable. Okay. And we go to data, data validation instead of A. We will call it C. So that's this is column C. And now if if you see the drop down, it's sorted. But I'm just gonna move this across one. Okay. Now uh, if you see uh, we have another problem. First half, it goes to the bottom, okay, and this plank is this guy here. Because what we did was we highlighted the whole column and said, go ahead and make a uh, pivot table out of it. So what it does is, you know how pivot table always uh, uh, combines the list together, and if they have multiples, it only shows up once. So all these cells are blanks. So that's what it's showing and combine them and saying that this is a blank cell okay now so that blank is also beginning becoming an option that you can select in the drop down list obviously something we don't want but part of the problem is solved it is being uh, sorted alphabetically okay so kansas city has gone up and then st louis is the last one you see how kansas city was the last one here now here kansas city has gone up so it's just below uh, Islamabad. Okay, so we have n. Uh, the other problem is we've got the um, the the row label also showing up. So basically, what that means is we are not quite there yet. Okay, so let's So let's see what we can do to improve this. Okay. Now, one problem is we've got uh, Kansas City. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, let's add Washington, D.C. Okay. What happened? This Pivot table did not get updated. Now, if you go to the first sheet, the first way of doing it, Washington DC has shown up here, but it is not showing up here. Okay. Now, the reason why it's not showing up is because this pivot table did not get updated. So two ways of doing it. Uh, you can do a right click and click on refresh. See how DC uh, showed up here. Now, if you go here, it, it does show up but it's a pain to have all this up have to go there do a right click and then uh, off, uh, refresh and if you were ever to uh, ever to forget that the pivot table is not going to be updated it's not going to have the full list and then you you will not be having the have you will not be able to pick the names that are not part of the, the pivot table yet because of uh, it not being updated so how can we make this pivot table update automatic right so what we're going to do is first this guy here we're going to convert this into a table okay so highlight the the, the filled out uh, cells control t for tom it says create table where the data is you know we did you know the highlight from a1 to a11 and my table has headers which is this guy here click on okay See how it automatically, uh, you know, colored, colored these uh, lines, uh, the rows in. Alternately, uh, white and blue, white and blue, 
Okay. And the name is table one. So let's make give it a better name. City names. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is place the cursor here, make the actor cell one of the cells of this table. Click on insert, pivot table, and now it says select a table or range. Now the only the reason why we have this is a table, the name automatically comes in here. And you see how it's already highlighted the, the filled in portion and it's going to be an existing. And we'll put it in here, click on OK, and we we'll select the name. And let's close this and let's do a sort by alphabetically. It is automatically going to do that, anyways. And now we will also go to design. Uh, turn off the uh, the grand totals and the subtotals, okay, and just show it in regular format. And now, you see, we have solved one problem: this blank is not there. So, if we were to let's give it a different color, do a oh sorry, data validation. List. Oops, sorry. And the source of the list is this guy here. Click on OK. And what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, give it a name. Okay. Uh, let me just make sure I've got it off the correct one. Yes. Okay. Now, it is at least, you know, it's not showing the blank as it was doing it over here, but it's still got black lines underneath. And it lets you select. And, it's, and the problem is the name of the city, the, the heading is still there, and it's not automatically going to the top. Okay. So, in fact, this is not the advanced method. This is going to be the advanced method. Okay. Let's give it a color here. Oh, it's too dark. There you go. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we've got this. Table, uh, this pivot table, and we'll use this uh, to populate the drop down list. But instead of uh, you know selecting the whole uh, column, we'll, we'll use a trick. And the trick is we'll use the offset function. Okay, the offset is oops, sorry. Reference row columns height width. Okay. Now, what this does is it when you say offset, what you mean is you can have you can define where it's going to grab your data from. Okay, the reference is where its base uh, cell is, and then this rows and columns how many rows down from that. And columns how many columns to the right of that do you want to start okay then the height and the width and how many rows you want it to grab and how many columns you want it to grab okay so uh, the offset command is going to be you give it a reference point the base point and then you uh, that would be the reference and then rows and columns the starting point how the, the starting for that uh, data grab how many columns, how many rows down from that baseline it should be, and this rows, uh, columns, sorry, how many columns to the right of the baseline it should be, and then uh, the height and the width, how many cells it down, how many rows down it needs to grab, and how many columns to the right it needs to grab. Okay, so we'll be using this uh, function to uh, fill in the, uh, the, the, the drop down list. Go to data validation list is equal to offset 
Okay. Come here. The whole column. Now, oh, I'm sorry. The first was the reference. So we give the second cell as a reference. We don't want it to get the, fir the fir first heading. Because we're going to get rid of that. There's, there's ways you can get rid of it anyways. But I said that you, you know, the first reference, and then how many rows down, and how many rows to the to the right you want. So you can, I can say, I can click on E1, and I say come down one row. But do not go across any. I could have done that. But I can, I can just right away select the second cell. So let's automate the first entry in the pivot table. And then how many rows down? None. How many columns to the right? None. And then how many columns do you want, want me to grab? I want to grab all this, the, num the, the number of rows I want you to grab is the height of this, uh, all this, the, the, you count the number of cells which are non-empty. Okay. And you subtract one to get rid of this name of city. Okay, so it's going to be counting the whole column minus one. And how many columns you want to grab? Just one column. Enter. Okay, now let's see what happens. It's going to be, the list is going to be sorted. It's only going to show you the list that is filled in. And it's going to start from the top as as opposed to starting from the bottom. So before we go there, this is how it was coming up. The name of the city was, the heading was showing up and uh, by default it was going to the bottom. Now in this guy here, the name of the city, the heading is gone and it starts on the top and it doesn't give you any blank lines and it is sorted. So now part of the problem is solved. Now. How do we make these tables, these pivot tables, update automatically? Okay, let me just save this. And now I'm going to, I'm going to uh, save this, save as, and I'm going to save this as a micro enabled workbook. And I'll show you in just a bit why I'm doing this. Click on OK. I'm going to, uh, close this and. Uh, and I'm going to open the macro enabled. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to developer, Visual Basic, okay, name those cities, this worksheet, this workbook at refresh all, and that's it. Okay, now what's going to happen is the last name I entered was Washington DC. Come to the last row, hit tab, and do you see how these two blanks show up? That's because the Visual Basic, as soon as I hit, hit any key on this sheet here, it updates the sheet. Okay, now it, uh, it updated these two pivot tables, and this is a blank line. See, so these blank lines show up. So let's input in Houston. Okay. So as soon as I click anywhere, it updates. Now this blank is here because that's the way we had done it. We have selected the whole column, but you don't see any Houston here. And um, okay. Now, if you also notice, because Houston is an H, comes before I. So it only goes up here, even though in this list it's down here, but it's showing up here, right? So let's add a few more. Uh, let's add Dallas, Manchester, Dublin. Oops, sorry. I need to. Okay. Now. See how Dublin comes right after Dallas. Manchester comes right after Los Angeles. Now, if you go here, click on the list, and everything is nice and neat and clean and sorted, and you only see the options that you have available to you, it does not show you the 
It does not go down to the blank line. It does not show you the name of the, 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 the heading. So this is a, a much neater way of doing it. Uh, you still, uh, and the best thing is, uh, sorry, the best thing is, uh, all you do is you just, you know, keep entering more names in here. I uh, keep this list, this, these two pivot tables, uh, would keep automatically getting updated. Uh, once you start adopting this, you really don't need this. Uh, the, this uh, pivot table was used for option, uh, for these options, all right? So let's not, uh, uh, you know, we, we don't even need this uh, pivot table. We only need this that is uh, being updated automatically, okay? Uh, with the table, with the the table, not as the whole column. Okay, so once again, see how much needed this is, as opposed to this guy here, which is just all over the place. The names are all over the place, and you're also getting the name of the city the, as the heading. Here you can say it says row row labels, and it is sorted, but it has uh, blank. The third option. Um, the other city as a, as, a, as a column heading and it is sorted but it also has a blank option this does not have the the heading name of the city and does not have any blank entries so this is so much needed sorted uh, no blank lines no uh, extra uh, items for the, the, the headings and it's very simple uh, let me just put up the code again you just use the offset command so you tell it where to get the data from uh, ideally what you want is this the second cell uh, offset is let me just try to command here set reference you start from here okay how many rows and columns uh, how many rows down do you want to move none how many columns to the right do you want to move none how many rows do you want to grab? As many as, uh, sorry, um, count A. What this is, all the non-blank uh, rows, minus one, so that, what that does it, it gets rid of this. Because if you, if you don't put this in, it's gonna count this as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, as opposed to it only being 14, okay? And how many columns do you want to grab? Only one. Okay, so that's essentially the command that you would plug into the, um, the data validation right here. So it's much neater, much cleaner, all right? I hope you liked this video, and if you did, uh, please kindly give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Thank you.